In this task, I'll rectify the unreferenced image in the georeferencer window to the referenced image in QGIS Desktop. And to do this, I'll locate common features in each image and add control points in those locations. Typically, you should identify control points in at least the four corners of the image and one in the center. They should be well distributed. Identifying points in only one portion of the image will not yield optimal results, so it's best to spread these control points around the image as evenly as possible. So to begin, I'm going to look for my first control point, and I'm going to look in the upper left-hand corner of this image. So I'm going to be using the pan and zoom tools to zoom into this portion of the image in the georeferencer window, and do the same in QGIS Desktop. For my first control point, I'll use this location where a sidewalk forks in the backyard of a house with a pool. And I can see that location on both images. And it's important to make sure that you can see that feature in both images before you add the control point. With the common reference point located, I'll use the Add Point button to add a control point. So I've clicked on the common reference point on the image to be referenced and I've tried to be accurate and precise with my click. Once I've done this, the Enter Map Coordinate window opens, and I'll click from the Map Canvas button, and choose that same point on the referenced image. So the Enter Map Coordinates dialog reappears, but with the selected coordinates entered. I'll click OK to accept these, and when I do this, the ground control points table becomes populated with the source coordinates for that control point and the destination coordinates for that control point. This GCP table will contain a list of all the control points that I've created. And if I wish to remove a control point, I can right click on its entry and choose remove. Similarly, if I wish to keep the control point but not apply it to the rectification, I can unselect the control point. Also, if I wish to manually change any of the values, I can double click on a cell and edit those coordinate values. You'll repeat these steps I've used to create this first control point, and you'll add four more control points to the image, one in the other three corners and one in the middle. And when you've completed this, you should have five points on both images and five entries in the GCP table. In the next task, you'll rectify the image.